Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John with Upsup Sandwiches back again with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... Uh, Norm McDonald Black Jokes compilation by the channel I'm Not Norm. Yes, go and subscribe. The link will be down below in the description. Um, this was a suggestion for rum. Phenomenal cat. Thank you so much. Hello, Ashton John. Can you react to the Norm McDonald Black Jokes? He is one of the most funniest demented comedians ever. This is a series of clips from different shows and radio. Norm is provocateur hope you enjoy we definitely will this is like a it's a 23 24 minute video though so we're just gonna do the first 10 because that is lay rules um you guys can also help support the channel clicking that link down below in the description if you throw down through stream labs gonna let you pick one of the next videos that we react to just keep it under 10 minutes include video link title your email let's get to this video some gold plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very very good slave <laughs> what well, this are was, you serious? Well, this was written. Are you serious? This was written years Did ago. you just write that? I didn't write Did it. Did you just say that? <laughs> no, I read it. Yes. You read that? <laughs> That's what happened. Oh shoot. No. Do you know the Harlem sh the Harlem Shake? Uh, what did I mess up here? I don't know how to get that box off there. I got two boxes going on. What is this? I got two. Boxes, one for the moon. Here we go, now I found it. This one needs to go away. No, no, other one. What did I do? There we go. It's All right. enhancing his sexy face. Look at me. Yeah, I've seen it on okay. every single You've commercial. seen it, then you'll appreciate this joke. I remember back when the Harlem Shake was just a back black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape trying to collect his money. Orange is the new black. What? But not in my apartment building. Kevin is the new black. <laughs> Presidential fact. Dude, he's brutal. Barack Obama is the first president to ever say the N-word as a term of endearment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not how George Washington used it. <laughs> no, I don't think it was a term of endearment. <laughs> no, Holy it? shit. Today is what makes it so funny is the fact that he's just saying it like right in front of them and it makes them feel so uncomfortable you can tell it gets such a good reaction out of them because like whoa dude i can't believe you just said that the 11th birthday of president obama's youngest daughter sasha or as i like to call her the uppity one. Oh goodness gracious yeah. <laughs> jesus oh, i'm a regular mozart <laughs> Uh, Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the AB show, ABC ABC. show Nashville. Start again. Start again. Right. Kids today. I mean, you can't. You can't it's spell, spell ABC. ABC. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, Michelle Obama has booked a cameo on the ABC show Nashville. With this and her appearance on iCarly, I think Michelle is ready to start appearing in films. May I suggest my favorite film series, Black Ass Fuckers? I found the secret to life. Yeah. What the fuck? They gave him the cue cards to read and he just went with it? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. There is no problem that a huge... <laughs> no. I found the secret to life, Bob, and this is it. There is no problem big enough that a huge... <laughs> that, a, that, a huge that a huge what? <laughs> no, I found the secret. I found out the secret to life. Yes, yeah, so great one. <laughs> yes, and it is this: there is no problem big enough that a huge black cock cannot fix. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Dre See that one coming. He's the first hip hop billionaire. A regular J. Paul Ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man. <laughs> Al Sharpton said that the uh, FBI hired him to spy on the mob in the 1970s because if there's one thing the mob trusts, it's loud black guys. Two businessmen bought the Milwaukee Bucks for $550 million. They are very excited with their purchase as this is the only legal way to own black people. Now that is Holy I shit. That. Well, you're not there. You know how businessmen are racist. They are. Yeah, so it's them being racist. They are. You. The two. The, the <laughs> it's them, not me, right? The bought the Milwaukee Bucks for five hundred fifty million dollars. Yeah. Are racist, according oh, no, to this. Oh, they're fine, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's actually a joke about Donald Sterling. Okay. Nothing can make a uh, room full of white people more. Um, what's the word for it? Uncomfortable. Force? Uncomfortable and awkward feeling than bringing up anything racial. Yeah. <laughs> mm, Jesus, I'm out. Like if you make fun of white people, can make fun of white people, but that's about it. I mean, we occasionally can make like a. 
Hispanic joke if we got Hispanic friends, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Depending on if they're there. Oh, and yeah, when you make an Asian joke about this small, you know what, you get in trouble for that too. I did that once on YouTube and I got attacked for it. <laughs> I can't remember that. It's yeah. just a stereotype. It's not like it's true or anything, but. It's just funny. Next time there's. Like, like I would know. What? Like I would know. Oh, yeah, like, no, literally, I, I don't someone. know. I don't, I've never seen an Asian. <laughs> Just next time you guys are doing something, like let's say you get like a group meeting and it's all like just like white people, say a racial mm-hmm. joke really loud and they'll just get so uncomfortable and awkward. It'll just be fun just to see what happens. Charities that Donald Sterling donated millions or of don't. dollars to or no liability back to him. Well, that'll show them. It's <laughs> <laughs> not bad. I don't know I why black was black of that. Black is black is I remember that guy. He was on uh, The Fighter and the Kid, and he's the one that sucked Minnesota the... Minnesota and Edina, yeah. Yeah, he sucked the handicapped dude for candy. Huh? Yeah. He didn't actually... That was an actual story, wasn't it? He actually sucked off a... What? Yeah, a handicapped dude at, like, the hockey rink or something that did, cleaned it or had a little shed in the side and for candy. No, he did not. I remember that story, but I don't think that's... You don't think that's I real? I think I think he was serious. It was serious. in Edina, too. Yeah. In Minnesota here, so... I can't remember. It was something like that, but I don't think he actually did it. I don't know. You have to Google it, I guess. You think but... if he sucked a gay's dick and he's not gay that he would come out and tell you that? The um, public? No. If it made you famous, maybe. He... No. <laughs> No. I, that's what he said. Even though, you know, they're not black anymore. But yeah, then yeah. again, we're not white, right? Right. We're pink like his fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we're, all, Seen it. we're all the colors of, all the color of Bobby's asshole deep down. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, Zed hired me as a stand You know, I was doing stand-up and Rosette said, would you like to be on the show and act? I, I, you know, you can be Lori's uh, boyfriend. I said, I can't act. I should have said I could act. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, she said, well, why do you be a writer? But one time in the writing room, she would give jobs to crazy guys sometimes, and she gave a job to uh, African-American. I don't know what you call them. I call them African-Americans. Oh, that's, shit. Those, those two words that are never heard in the state of Texas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke, so I told them. And we're saying Jesus. African-American, and when you say that, it feels uncomfortable, right? No, to your no. tongue? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to say? Well, no, just to tell me what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to call them black because African American is actually offensive because there's a good chance that they would never lived or came from Africa. Oh, you know where this is going already. Yeah, I know. We've actually learned a lot about this, though, guys, because yeah. you guys suggest some videos kind of explaining it. When you say African American, that's actually kind of worse because they're just an American. They never lived in Africa. So that's to say what it is. <laughs> I well, I definitely would not say the A word. Right. That's what I call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The A A the A dash A word. Yeah, yeah. African American. <laughs> Can you do an African American accent? That's why, yeah. Okay. We'll give you an African American. Well, an African American. Uh, your mom is so fat she developed type two diabetes and congestive heart failure. Snap. <laughs> that announcer uh, voice. George, my mother is so fat when she came to Vegas they had to build another hotel. Okay, goes, you got to do rag. He goes, you know, I fucking my woman. You know, and I don't want to answer the phone. Oh, shit, it could be a job. And, you know, and then, and then what, what? you know, uh, you after you will, you take the do rag, you wipe off your dick with the do rag. And I'm like, no, I don't do that. But everyone in the audience is like, yeah, we all do that. We all wipe our dicks off. Our dicks. Yeah. Never trust a black guy wearing a Dirk Nowitzki jersey. In game one of the Western Conference Finals between the Mavericks and the Thunder, Magic Johnson said that Dirk Nowitzki is playing like he has three legs, which is a nice way of saying (laughs) he's playing like a black guy. (laughs) (laughs) See that one coming. That was funny, though. The second round NBA playoffs. Great dunk from Westbrook, though I'd be more impressed if he weren't young and black. Moscow, Roy Jones oh, Jr. is down. Boring. If I wanted to see an old black guy get punched in the face, I'd look out my window. Eastern Conference what? Final in Miami. Must live in Chicago or something. What the fuck is going on outside your house? Cover in transition. Always shocking when a black guy running forward is faster than a white guy running back. Usually I pick the bigger, blacker guy. <laughs> President Obama is a phenomenal player at basketball for a president of the United States. 
But I think he's just mediocre for a black guy. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, what about bringing in Jackie Robinson? Only team with a black guy on it. That's not cheating? <laughs> Where I grew up, that's cheating. <laughs> Last week, Indiana Pacer Danny Granger called Joe Kim Noah of the Chicago Bulls a coward. Now, where I come from, those are fighting words. But I have no idea how the black community views them. I... That's it? Middleweight boxer Bernard Hopkins has caused a stir by implying that Donovan McNabb is not black enough. <laughs> the two men have decided to settle their differences with an old-fashioned game of who cannot catch a cab. What the fuck? Uh, oh, everybody's bringing up these uh, licenses for illegals and that they, they need to have them. And I'm, my question is, uh, where are they getting the license plates? Obviously, we're letting them register vehicles without licenses, and in this day of car bombs and stuff, I don't know if that's a good idea. Thank you, Dan from Boise. Norm, what's your feeling? Well, um, <coughs> I know that the New York governor, Governor Spitzer, <laughs> I'm trying to get to learn things, <laughs> but he uh, he doesn't want to issue uh, licenses to uh, illegal immigrants, you know? And uh, mm -hmm. I don't know how the hell you're, you're going to get a cab in New York City anymore. I mean, it's hard enough, you know, for me especially. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, Dennis, uh, have you heard about this uh, Huckleberry Finn thing? Uh, I heard something about they wanted to take the, uh, uh, the N-word out, right? Yeah, anyways, I wanted to bring it up before I forgot, and then we'll get on to my uh, my project. <laughs> All right, do you have any observation on it, any tweak on it, or just the, the cognizance of the fact that they want to... No, it's, I, well, I feel it's a thorny issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no. yeah. Jesus. No, that, that wasn't the whole thing. No. <laughs> I thought you were going to go like, well, how so, or something. Like that. <laughs> Tell us more, Norm. <laughs> Uh, I feel it's a thorny issue. Yeah, I'll tell me you why. too. Why, Norm? <laughs> well, you got Mark Twain, and, you know, and you're talking about. I mean, uh, for those of you who don't know, you know what I'm talking about. They've they've taken out us the N word, you know, out of many of the books of Huckleberry Finn. You know? Norm, they've taken us. And uh, so you got a, a thorny issue that mm. I think I, I I have a solution to. <laughs> Do I hear it? Oh, man. Never, never anything more. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the thorny issue is this. Yeah. You know, you don't want to take, you know, Mark Twain, you know, one of the greatest writers ever to <laughs> brush paper with ink, you know, <laughs> and, and, and change his words, for God's sake. <laughs> On the other side of the, of the coin, you don't want to have a young African American boy in school, you know, hearing that word out loud and uh, and causing him pain. So it's a thorny issue. <laughs> Is it just because the huckleberry plant has thorns on it? Is that why it's so plant? funny? <laughs> you are so splendidly demented. Yeah, I've, so read, it. I've read it. You you know it's written in the first person by Huckleberry. By <laughs> yes, I do. And you know it includes the N-word. Yes. Therefore, you just change Huckleberry Finn to a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> and everything's, it's like a rap song at that point. Right? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Cool. Damn. Hey, Norm, come to my fifth grade class. I dare you. Uh, well, uh, well, we're... Is that the end of that one? This is a different one? Uh, no, it's same. With it. We're over ten minutes now, so you can. No, I mean like this is a different clip from a different. Yeah, different show, dude. He is just like all over with it. Yeah, that was. I mean, people will probably get mad that we even reacted that or laughed at it, but you know what? It's just jokes, guys. It's just jokes. You just gotta roll with it. Um, but he's he's pretty funny though. I yeah. mean, he goes like that territory where people don't want to go when it comes to a comedian, but he does it in a pretty. A pretty safe way where he's not going like, 
too mm-hmm. much with it, but he's still making like jokes, positive and negative, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, guys, comment down below about what you think about his jokes. Do you like them or not? It's from the channel I'm Not Norm. It's very important to support the channels that you love, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye.